Hi, I'm Stephen with Alberta Urban Garden .ca. A couple of weeks ago, we spoke about adding fertility over the winter using free and local resources to make a mulch layer. The main component of that mulch layer was autumn leaves. After completing this in my garden and starting my hot compost, I had a couple of spare bags of autumn leaves. So in today's episode, I thought I'd show you how I make leaf mold and some of the benefits that it can bring to your garden. Leaf mold is compost that is made when fungi are responsible for the decomposition process of a high carbon containing material like autumn leaves. The key benefit of leaf mold is when completed, it contains humus. Adding humus to the soil helps alleviate soil compaction, improving root penetration. Humus helps bring in air, water, and nutrients into the soil while acting as a habitat for bacteria. At a cellular level, humus is the hollowed out shells of once living cells that act as a sponge holding moisture and nutrients in place that would otherwise leach out. Leaves also come with a large number of essential and beneficial elements. Trees take up these nutrients from the soil and subsoil and incorporate them into the wood and leaves. As the leaves fall in the autumn, those elements are left in the tissues. Last year, we tested four common species of autumn leaves in my area, including birch, poplar, apple, and Russian olive. Maxim Analytics found the leaves have 10 of the 15 commonly tested for trace elements that are essential or beneficial for plant growth. The additional nutrients are easily incorporated into the nutrient cycle as the leaves break down. This is important as the same elements from the parent material that originally formed the soil in my area has taken nearly 10,000 years to release the nutrients into the soil and the soil is close to chemical equilibrium, slowing the process. When this compost is done, it'll have plenty of fungi within it. Once applied to the garden, it'll help support the populations of fungi that are already there in breaking down more complex molecules that bacteria simply can't get to. It can also help form mycorrhizal relationships with plants, helping them get to nutrients and water that are harder to reach in the soil. It is fairly simple to make fungi responsible for breaking down your leaves. All you need to provide to make leaf mold is three factors, carbon in the form of leaves, fungi, and moisture. The simplest method to make leaf mold is to take a carbon rich source like autumn leaves and simply pile them in an area of your garden that will not be in the way. Usually, you don't need a nitrogen source, but if you do, it will speed up the decomposition process a little bit. I keep a few handfuls of the completed leaf mold in order to add to the new pile, helping to speed up the inoculation of the new leaves with fungi that will do all the tough work for me. Once you've piled your leaves, make sure to keep the pile moist as it breaks down and the fungi will do the rest. A few times throughout the summer, if the pile is getting dry, I'll water it. Usually after a year, your leaf mold is ready to go. Sometimes it takes two years, however, if applied to the mulch layer, as I often do, a completed leaf mold is not necessary. If dedicating an area in your garden for over a year for the production of leaf mold is not in your garden plan, but you still want to get the benefits of fungus in your garden, you may turn to products. Now these products are marketed as fungally dominated composts and they do usually have high concentrations of humus. However, the fungus that we're, you're trying to apply to your soil is usually killed in the production and shipping of the product. Even if you get it home alive, usually that fungus is not well suited to the microclimate of your garden. But don't worry, almost all garden soils in the world have thousands of species of mycorrhizal and other fungi already within them. So you don't really need to worry about going out and buying a product specifically for adding fungi to your garden soil. They're already there. There is, however, a much easier method that you can make leaf mold in your garden. If you place your carbon rich material like autumn leaves on top of your garden soil as a mulch, you will get all of the same benefits as it breaks down with improved moisture retention and reduced weed germination. Using leaf mold in the mulch layer or making it there will attract earthworms. Earthworms bring a number of benefits to your soil, including aeration, nutrient breakdown, growth hormone addition, and the mucus they leave behind helps retain nutrients that would otherwise leach away. I usually apply leaf mold in the fall before I make the next year's pile. As I know many of you are not in areas that have access to autumn leaves, other carbon heavy materials such as wood chips can be substituted. If you are planning on using wood chips, we can use the research analyzing wood ash to give a general understanding of the nutrient value of wood chips.
Researchers in Wisconsin found that wood ash contained 12 of the 15 elements needed for plant growth. It's been my experience that most municipalities and cities have wood chip piles that you can access for free or for very, very cheap. Now, wood chips will take a lot longer to decompose, and this is largely due to the climate that you live in. A good rule of thumb is between three to five years. With that said, you can still add the wood chips to your mulch layer, and they will release their nutrients over time directly into the nutrient cycle where they're needed. If you would like to get the same benefits of leaf mold just a little faster, worm castings can help you out. Worm castings are vermiculture from household organics, including carbon-containing materials such as newspaper and cardboard, have high concentrations of humus as well. You can even use autumn leaves in your vermicompost and combine the methods to produce a high quality, locally sourced worm casting. If you happen to have extra leaves laying around, I highly recommend you invest in your soil's fertility by making leaf mold and applying it to your garden. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it very much and I hope you have a fantastic day.